Mostly Geo Fusion here, back with another reaction video. Uh, today we're going to be reacting, uh, reacting, excuse me, to some IGN. Um, apparently, Ubisoft uh, released an apology to the Japanese fans for what it seems to be a couple of things. Um, I did vet the video just to see exactly what's going on. Um, and my assumptions were half right. You know, we all know in... I haven't seen many Japanese people having issues with um, Yasuke being in the game. Um, it's the fake weebs, man. Those have been most of the people that I have seen who have been having issues with him being in the game, being portrayed as a samurai, even though we have a few games where he was already like portrayed as that. Um, so in my opinion, you're playing Assassin's Creed. These games have never been 100% accurate. These games have never been historically accurate. There have been stuff, uh, things that have been accurate, such as time period, what's going on in the time period. Uh, you may use certain names, uh, like Leonardo da Vinci, um, missing two other names just right off the top of my head, uh, George Washington, and... Blackbeard, like there's a couple um, historical figures that have been in the game before. The difference is that they're that this one is playable, and he's black. I think those two are the only differences I've seen from other historically mentioned names in the game. Uh, and if that bothers you, then you're a, a, a loser. You're a loser, you're an idiot, and I feel bad for you, and yeah, that's just my take on it. Just don't play as him, or just don't buy the game. That's all it should be. Um, that being said, I'm wondering what exactly Ubisoft is apologizing for. Because they did nothing wrong with Yosuke, and... Um, my mind, for some reason, my name, Nawe, I, I think that's what her name is. Um, but there should be nothing wrong with those, with these two characters. The only problem is, <laughs> what I've seen is there's no Japanese man. That is the biggest issue I've seen. Just reading comments, scrolling through comments, um, looking on Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, and I'm not saying that is the best way to gauge um, real life because we all know what a lot of these comments are. They're bots. They're people just uh, rage baiting. Uh, virgins are in there, so it's, it's just hard to take that shit serious. So I'm finding and I'm finding it interesting that they are. A, 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 apologizing for this but let's go ahead and see what they got to say here yeah Ubisoft has posted a message on Twitter addressing some of the controversy surrounding Assassin's Creed shadows specifically directed toward their Japanese fans the four-page post written in both English and Japanese explains their stance on historical accuracy and that their Assassin's Creed games are not meant to be a factual representation of history but quote historical fiction. It is the developer's intent that the games quote spark curiosity in players who may then do actual research into the real events and time periods. These games have been coming out almost once a year since 2007, and in case the virtual reality genealogical time travel and medieval parkour didn't give it away, they've never exactly strived for 100% historical accuracy. So I just ask, just real quick, has there ever been an issue in Assassin's Creed's, um, I guess like conception of non-historic or not accurate um, portrayals of certain characters. I've played 90% of the Assassin's Creed games. I've completed 85% of them. Um, and I don't think I've ever seen like a problem with it. I don't think so. Like the only issues I've seen is 
glitches, uh, just regular game stuff. Like the games it itself, like there's issues with um, the open world being too boring or it's just too open of a, wor uh, of a world. Um, same animations for certain assassinations, same kill style, just a lot of sameness going on. Of course, like they try to make some uh, some changes with Valhalla, Origin, and um, Odyssey. Odyssey being the best one, in my opinion, out of those three. Um, still solid games. There's uh, way too much content, in my opinion. Uh, so it is hard to really quantify that. Um, as well, as you're not really playing an Assassin's Creed game. Um, those felt like more watered down dark souls esque type of games uh they definitely did remind me a lot of shadow of war with the um rpg elements picking stuff that works for you whatever so that was a step away from the normal um like assassin's creed gameplay so i guess that was cool then we return back Oh, you get Mirage. That one was all right. And I think this is a very, very important game for the Assassin's Creed franchise. I think there's going to be a lot of people who are not going to play this game just because like they saw a black guy as a playable character. There's going to be a certain amount of people that are not playing the game because there is a woman as the playable character. And then oh, you got the double decker. They don't want to play as a black man and they don't want to play as a woman. So there's another base of players that are just not playing just because of the main characters that you are picking, which is crazy. That should never be the case. If I had to play as Nathan Drake in 18 different video games, you should be okay with playing as one nigga with some dreads. You should be okay as playing as with, uh, you should be okay playing as a woman and like four video games you should be all right with that and if you're not then just don't buy the fucking video game i feel like it's that simple um but yeah so let's go ahead and continue so what's this long post in response to for some context there were issues surrounding some of the promotional materials used for the game there was concept art that featured a flag from a Japanese historical reenactment group called Sakigahara Tepotai. The flag was used without the group's permission and the group has already asked that Ubisoft remove the image from the game's art. While Ubisoft has agreed to stop using the image going forward, it may be too late to remove it from a possibly already printed physical art book for Assassin's Creed Shadows. And there that's fair. That's something that makes sense to apologize for. Uh, they should have did more research on what was going on exactly with that flag. Um, hopefully it doesn't cause any issues with the release. Um, and hopefully th that's all squared away. Now we're going to go ahead and hold on. Let's go ahead and hear how she explains what the problem is and what they are uh, um, uh, apologizing for. Let's just go ahead and hear the rhetoric. There is also the apparently controversial decision to include Yasuke in the story. Yasuke, a real figure from Japanese history. It's not because it's Yasuke. It's because it's a black man who is a samurai in this game. She was telling the truth, but she didn't put it on the table. She should have been like, the problem is there is an African samurai an african playable samurai who may not be a samurai in real life they, they could have just called him a retainer it doesn't matter he still plays like a samurai and i think to make everything easier uh, uh, for everybody it makes sense just to call him the samurai but that's besides the point the whole issue is he's black if you would have made a black samurai and named him something else, there still would have been a problem. If you put a white samurai, and I bet you $20, nobody would bat an eye. Nobody. Jake Gyllenhaal 
played the Prince of Persia. Either yeah. That that was Jake Gyllenhaal, right? Let me fact check myself just real quick. But yeah, man. Nobody gives a fuck about uh race swapping until you swap a white person out for a like different race. Then that's become then that becomes like the problem. It is never never an issue when a white person does it. But that's just how it is. Let me just look it up real quick. Jake Gyllenhaal, Prince of Persia. Yeah, bro. This nigga ain't Persian. He's a white man. You cannot. Come on, dog. So, if you're going to have an issue with it, I'm just saying be consistent. I don't give a fuck that the Prince of Persia was, was a white dude because I understand that that was a movie. I understand. I mean, I don't give a crap that in um, Gods versus whatever the fuck, where um, Clash of the Titans, where, no, not Clash of the Titans. It was a, anyway, white people were playing as uh, Egyptian gods. I didn't have a problem with that because I understand that it, it, it was a movie. It's not real life. But let there be a black person play Ariel. Let there be a black person be a samurai. The whole world is turns us turns upside down and loses their fucking mind. Double standard, ladies and gentlemen. Is an African man who lived for a time in feudal Japan, serving in the court of the warlord Oda Nobunaga. Yasuke is one of the game's two protagonists and is portrayed as a samurai. The other character being Naoe, a female Japanese shinobi, Yasuke's inclusion seems controversial because there is no conclusive proof that Yasuke was an actual sam- No, the problem is he's black. The problem is he's black. They don't want to play as a black samurai. If he made Yasuke a non-playable character and he's just hanging out, I bet you nobody would have a problem. But because you got to play as him, that's not historically accurate. What the fuck? Samurai, although he has been portrayed as such in other popular media from Japan and elsewhere. Samurai or not, there's proof Yasuke did exist. The Assassin's Creed series has featured plenty of historical figures in key roles, but Shadows is the first game in which the playable protagonist is based on a real person. The decision to feature a black man as a lead protagonist in a game set in feudal Japan has sparked a lot of... There you go. Uh, let's just say very spirited debate on... There you go. I'm glad you called it out. Even though you sort of did a little soft read there. But thank you for calling it out. Line. But this isn't the first time the Assassin's Creed series has been the subject of controversy. Since the franchise's beginning, Ubisoft has included a disclaimer reminding players each game is a work of fiction and that creative license and fantasy elements have been used and that the development teams are made up of people from, quote, various beliefs, sexual orientations, and gender identities. Assassin's Creed Shadows will arrive on November 12th of this year, and if you're interested in the game, IGN has an extensive interview with the dev team over at IGN.com. Moving right. Um, yeah, but that's pretty much all I got. Um, I don't really care about the rest of the video. Um, I saw a cyber truck. I already don't care. Uh, but what do you guys think about this? Will you specifically not be playing this game because Yasuke is a playable character? I'm going to do a TikTok on that. I actually want to see because I'm very, very curious on what the problem is and what's really going on out there in the uh, TikTok world. So, uh, yeah, man, this shit is interesting. Um, but, yeah, tell me what you guys think in the comments below. 
Will you be playing this game? I'm personally going to get it. I was supposed to get Mirage. Um, never really had time to really sit down and play. I'm glad I didn't get it. Um, just from seeing a, a couple of things out there. I also got some hands on time. One of my homeboys, he had the game. I tried it out. Yeah, it's... Uh, I don't know. I think they're having a hard time returning back to form after building all of these um, massive worlds. Sort of feels a little slow for me. This looks interesting, though. This looks very, very interesting. And this will be a cop. But, um, yeah. See you guys next video. Peace.